What's up, YouTubes? Today's video is about the most powerful chord progression in all of harmony. Let's try a little experiment. I'm going to play a chord, and you guess what the next chord should be without listening to anything else that comes before or after in the progression. You think you can do this? Check it out. Where am I going with this chord? Can you hear it? This chord wants to go somewhere. It wants to resolve. You already know what the next chord should be, right? Is that what you were thinking? That, my friends, is the dominant seventh to tonic progression. You'll see it written with Roman numerals like this. It's pronounced 5-7, or better yet, dominant seventh. It is the most powerful progression in harmony. The dominant seventh includes the biggest tensions of the scale, which have very stable resolve to the tonic. Now, it's called a dominant seventh because the seventh is added to the dominant chord. Say we're talking about C major scale here, okay? The first pitch, or what's called the tonic pitch, is the C. When we walk up the scale to D, E, F, and then G, we arrive at the fifth pitch of the scale, or what's called the dominant pitch. Now, when we build a triad on this dominant pitch, using thirds, we get the dominant chord G, B, and D. G, B, D. Then we add the seventh to it, making it a G, B, D, and F. That's the dominant seventh. Let's take a couple of minutes and analyze why this dominant seventh resolves to the tonic so well. Here again are the four notes I played for the dominant seventh chord. G, B, D, and F. When resolving to the tonic, notice that the G remains the same. The B wants to pull itself to the higher C. That B wants to go to C. You hear the resolution? You hear that? Now you find this true for the last note in any major scale. It wants to pull itself to what's called the tonic of the scale on a higher octave usually. Now, in much the same way, the D wants to move to the C also. The note F in the dominant seventh chord sounds very good when it resolves to the E in the C major chord. So, here are the movements again. B to C. D to C. F to E. As a sidebar, in the study of interval dynamics, one of the things you'll find is that the most highly unbalanced pitches of a major scale are 2, 4, and 7. Now, if we look at the C major scale, we see that the 2 is the D, the 4 is the F, the 7 is the B. These three pitches, D, F, B, 
are all part of the dominant seventh chord, which is G, B, D and F. We resolve these unbalanced pitches in this way. Two goes to one, four goes to three, seven goes to one. One of the uses for this knowledge is you insert these unbalanced to balanced movements to create melodies. This gives your melodies a lot of flavor and drama, see? Music needs tension, resolution. Reason two. Another reason why it sounds so highly unstable is that it contains the tritone, the diabolos in musica, the devil itself in music. The tritone presents itself between the fourth and the seventh notes of the scale, which are F and B. In the dominant seventh chord, here they are. That's the dominant seventh chord. There's the F, that's the B. That's the tritone. Do you hear that? That tritone wants so badly to resolve to E and C. You hear that resolution? Uh. This is why the dominant seventh chord is able to establish tonality all by itself. Your brain doesn't even need to know the song or key. When you hear the dominant seventh chord, you know what the tonic is right away. So let's try a couple more dominant seventh chords in other keys to see if all of this holds up. I'll play the chord and you guess what the resolve sound should sound like in your mind. And then we'll find the tonic key and the chord and see if our ear was right. Did you hear that? That was the key of A major. The pitches in the scale are A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp. Therefore, the dominant seventh is E, G sharp, B, D. Tonic is A, C sharp, E. Let's try another one. Did you hear that? That was a key of D major. The pitches in the scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. Therefore, the dominant seventh is A, C sharp, E, G. And the tonic is D, F sharp, A. Here's a third one. That was the key of B-flat major. Pitches in the scale of B-flat, C, D, E-flat, F, G, and A. Therefore, the dominant seventh is F, A, C, E-flat. The tonic is B-flat, D, F. So as you can see, the dominant seventh to tonic progression is very powerful. The question then becomes, where can we use this in our music, right? 
Well, think of it as a full stop, uh, a period in your musical sentence. It's what's called a perfect cadence. Now, we'll talk much more about other musical punctuations in coming videos, but for now, use this to give the sense of closure to a passage of music. Be sure to use it sparingly, though, because as with any good thing, it can lose its power if you overuse it. So, hope this helps you make better music. Thanks for the love, people. See you around, YouTubes.